Yeah, so it's really varied、um, in terms of what our merchants who are engaging with us are looking for. It, it typically centers around three different things, which is back office efficiencies, customer satisfaction, and cost reduction. So, depending on the vertical of which pay to use is going to be implemented, it, it, it either ticks all three of those boxes or it, it sometimes just ticks one and that's enough. In terms of back office efficiencies, the speed of getting confirmation of settlement of funds in real time、um, triggers a whole list of、uh, engagements with their customer that really brings out a, a, a complete transaction. The transaction is complete and, and finalized. Um, that leads directly into customer satisfaction. So, when you make a payment, you know that that payment has been done. Everybody wants to have their app updated instantly in real time. So, they have no ambiguity about that they just paid money out of their bank account to,、uh, a, cust-、uh, to a merchant in real time. And then, generally, in the big discussion point for Pay2 is that it is an account to account transaction, it is fixed cost per、um, transaction. So, basically, We're looking at the speed and efficiency of a credit card and the confirmation of a credit card, but at a fixed per- cost as opposed to a percentage. So, in certain verticals where you have a high average transaction value, that is significant saving for the merchant. And we are seeing merchants looking to incentivize and pass that back on to a customer. So, ultimately, it does come down to those, those three core points the、so、back office efficiency and being able to close out really clearly.、Um, A transaction in full, and whatever that transaction is related to, whether a, pro,、uh, a, a process, a shipping order, or, or anything like that, the cost reduction, and then ultimately customer satisfaction.